Question number 31. You are building a language understanding model for purchasing tickets. You have the following utterance for an intent named purchase and send tickets. Purchase two audit business tickets to Paris next Monday and send tickets to email at domain.com. You need to select the entity types. The solution must use built-in entity types to minimize training data whenever possible. Which entity type should you use for the label email at domain.com? Option A, email. Option B, list. Option C, regex. Option D, geography v2. Option E, machine learned. The correct answer is option A, email. For the label email at domain.com, the appropriate built-in entity type is email, which automatically recognizes email addresses in the text. This minimizes the need for custom training data while ensuring accurate identification of email addresses in the input. Question number 32. You are building a language understanding model for purchasing tickets. You have the following utterance for an intent named purchase and send tickets. Purchase two audit business tickets to Paris next Monday and send tickets to email at domain.com. You need to select the entity types. The solution must use built-in entity types to minimize training data whenever possible. Which entity type should you use for the label Do Audit Business? Option A, Email. Option B, List. Option C, Regex. Option D, Geography V2. Option E, Machine Learned. The correct answer is option E, machine learned. Two audit business represents a combination of quantity and category, which could be specific to this use case. And there is no direct built-in entity type to cover this. The machine learned entity can be used to extract such custom pattern, making it ideal for scenarios where Specific values need to be recognized based on the training data provided. Question number 33. You have a custom vision resource named ACVDAV in the development environment. You have a custom vision resource named ACVPROD in a production environment. In ACVDAV, you build an object detection model named OBJ1 in a project named PROS1. You need to move OBJ1 to ACV prod. Which three actions should you perform in sequence? 1. Use the export project endpoint on ACV dev. 2. Use the get projects endpoint on ACV Dev. 3. Use the import project endpoint on ACV Prod. 4. Use the export iteration endpoint on ACV Dev. 5. Use the get iterations endpoint on ACV Dev. 6. Use the opted project endpoint on ACV Prod. Option A, 2, 3, 1. Option B, 2, 1, 5. Option C, 2, 1, 4. Option D, 2, 1, 3. The correct answer is Option D, 2, 1, 3. You move the object detection model from the development environment 
ACV Dave to the production environment, ACV Prod, you should first use the Git Projects endpoint on ACV Dave to retrieve the project information. Then use the Export Project endpoint to export the project and its asset from ACV Dave. Finally, use the Import Project endpoint on ACV Prod to import the project into the production environment. Question number 34. You are building a bot that will use language understanding. You have a LU down file that contains the following content. Based on the information presented, select the answer choice that completes the following statement correctly. Select item is blank space. Option A, a domain. Option B, an endpoint. Option C, an intent. Option D, an utterance. The correct answer is option C, an intent. In the context of language understanding, LUIS, an intent represents an action or task that the user want to perform. In a LU down file, intents are defined using the following syntax. As intent name, that's example utterance one, that's example utterance two. Each intent begins with a hash symbol followed by the intent name and the lines beneath it prefixed with a hyphen or example utterances that users might say to express that intent. Given this structure, select item is defined as an intent with the subsequent lines, choose last, choose the directional reference equals bottom left, serving as example utterances, illustrating how users might express this intent. Question number 35. You are building a bot that will use language understanding. You have a LU down file that contains the following content. Based on the information presented, select the answer choice that completes the following statement correctly. Choose add directional reference equals Top right is blank space. Option A, a domain. Option B, an entity. Option C, an intent. Option D, an utterance. The correct answer is option D, an utterance. It is a specific example of what a user might say to invoke the select item intent. In language understanding, LUIS, utterances are the individual phrases that users might say, which are then mapped to a corresponding intent for processing. Just a quick reminder, if you don't have time to watch these videos, and instead download all questions and answers, feel free to purchase them on Buy Me A Coffee page. I have shared the link below. Question number 36. You have an Azure subscription that is linked to a Microsoft Intra tenant. The subscription ID starts with X1 and ends with X1. The tenant ID starts with 1Y and ends with Y1. The subscription contains an Azure OpenAI resource named OpenAI1 that has a primary API key that starts with 1111 and ends with 11AA. OpenAI1 has a deployment named Embeddings1 that uses the text 
dash embedding dash ADA dash zero zero two model. You need to query OpenAI1 and retrieve embeddings for text input. You need to complete the following code. What should you choose for placeholder 1? Option A, Option B, or Option C. The correct answer is Option B that starts with 1111 and ends with 11AA. This value represents the primary API key required to authenticate your request when querying the Azure OpenAI resource. In the provided code, the Azure key credential is initialized with this API key, allowing the OpenAI client to authenticate and send request to the OpenAI resource. Question number 37. You have an Azure subscription that is linked to a Microsoft Entra tenant. The subscription ID starts with X1 and ends with X1. The tenant ID starts with 1Y and ends with Y1. The subscription contains an Azure OpenAI resource named OpenAI1 that has the primary API key that starts with 1111 and ends with 11AA. OpenAI1 has a deployment named Embeddings1 that uses the text dash embeddings dash ADA dash 002 model. You need to query OpenAI1 and retrieve embeddings for text input. You need to complete the following code. What should you choose for placeholder 2? Option A, embeddings 1. Option B, OpenAI1. Option C, text dash embedding dash ADA dash 002. The correct answer is option A, embeddings 1. It refers to the deployment created within the Azure OpenAI resource that uses the text dash embedding dash ADA dash 002 model. When making API request to generate embeddings, the deployment name is required to specify which instance of the model is being used? The deployment name, example embeddings1, is tied to the specific instance of the model. In this case, text dash embedding dash ADA dash 002 that you have configured within Azure OpenAI. While the model name text dash embedding dash ADA-002 represents the type of the model being used. The API calls are directed to a specific deployment identified by their deployment names. Question number 38. You are building an app that will use Azure AI to monitor workspaces for safety regulation compliance. You need to recommend a service that meets the following requirements. Generates alert when employees enter high risk areas. Monitors video feed in real time. Minimizes development effort. What should you recommend? Option A, object detection in Azure AI custom vision. Option B, Azure AI Vision Spatial Analysis Option C Azure AI Vision Image Analysis Option D Azure AI Video Indexer The correct answer is Option B Azure AI Vision Spatial Analysis
Azure AI Vision Spatial Analysis is designed for real-time video monitoring and can be used to track and analyze movement in workspaces, such as detecting when employees enter high-risk areas. It minimizes development effort by providing built-in capabilities for spatial understanding, such as people tracking, crowd density, and zone-based monitoring, making it ideal for this use case. Question number 39. You have an Azure subscription and 10,000 ASCII files. You need to identify files that contain specific phrases. The solution must use cogent similarity. Which Azure OpenAI model should you use? Option A, GPT-3.5 Turbo. Option B, Text-Embedding-ADA-002. Option C, GPT-4-32K. Option D, GPT-4. The correct answer is Option B, text dash embedding dash ADA dash 002. The text dash embedding dash ADA dash 002 model from Azure OpenAI is designed for generating embeddings that can be used with cogent similarity to identify semantic similarity between text. It is ideal for talks like identifying files that contains specific phrases based on your content. It minimizes computational overhead and is well suited for processing large volume of text like ASCII files. Question number 40. You have an Azure subscription that contains an Azure AI document intelligence resource named AI Doc 1 in the S0 tier. You have the file shown in the following table. You need to train a custom extraction model by using AI Doc 1. Which files can you upload to Document Intelligence Studio? Option A, File 2 and File 5 only. Option B, File 2, File 4 and File 5 only. Option C, File 1, File 2 and File 4 only. Option D, File 1, File 2, File 3, File 4 and File 5. Option E, File 1 and File 2 only. The correct answer is option E, file 1 and file 2 only. Azure AI Document Intelligence in the S0 tier supports JPG, PNG, PDF and Excel, XL, SX files. However, password locked PDFs cannot be processed unless unlocked, which exclude file 5. The max file size for analyzing supported document is 500 MB, so file 3 and file 4 are excluded. File 1, JPG, 400 MB is supported and under the size limit. File 2, PDF, 250 MB, not password locked, is supported and under the size limit.